Alright, this is the two and a half AM Odyssey of the Black and Decker KS Triple Eight E. This thing lately has got uh, a grind gear inside. Uh, I believe it's the uh, it's not the spur of the Maras. It suddenly freezes and you hear the spur grinding it. So I believe it's the the second or third gear if uh, there's even such thing inside. I mean the gear that drives the blade driver. Anyways. Uh, this jigsaw has been serviced since of, uh, 2007, I believe. Uh, it has been used daily into construction, so you can pretty much understand how it's used. Um, another thing that it has is that you can never get a straight cut with it. You can cut like this, but there is somewhat of a play on the blade driver and uh, well not actually a play but if you try to get a straight cut this firstly this won't stay straight as uh, it's a little broken here and second the most straight cut you can get is this one this one here but if you see it closely you will see that it's angled so yeah. By the way, this is a replica bezel of the IBM 5150 PC case. Nothing important for now. And uh, this thing has so much uh, gypsum dust and uh, plaster dust, uh, uh, marble, uh, cement, and such things that it's almost clogged up. Bond, the, the bond here just stuck sometimes. I'm not sure if this works. The bond holder. Yeah, apparently it works. Um, uh, I'm gonna now try to open it up to see what's up with the gearing and to uh, believe it been a long time since this was opened. Uh, it's pretty much maintenance free since back then. Not even uh, sure if it has a second pair of bruises on the motor or something. Anyways, we will see. I think I found something that looks like a rapid bug. Uh, I mean a, a bug wrapped into spider net into one of the screw holes. I think this one here. Anyways, and uh, just as I expected, the gear that drives the blade driver is grinded up from from uh, here to here, like one, two, three, uh, seven or eight teeth. They're all eaten off, as you can probably see, and uh, the spur gear is. Uh, you know, just intact. See, just slipped. Anyways, um, apart from the gear and this thing that can hold this thing that can hold this thing correctly, everything else on this jigsaw uh, is just perfect. It's not really a sad jigsaw as um, you know the more the carbon bruises the the bearings everything looks healthy so yeah pretty basically if you put another gear here and the you know find a way to keep this attached correctly you know it will just be uh, a normal jigsaw that can catch something uh, at least decently and it's proven reliable after all these years into the constructions so yeah uh, I think I'm gonna keep this one uh, as it is with the grind gear for cutting um, things that doesn't have to be cut accurately like uh, old planks, dry walls and such things and then get a cheap one for cutting something 
at least more accurately than this one can do. Not that uh, zigzags can catch uh, accurately something like this. Uh, has to be uh, a desk mounted zig uh, zigzag or, or uh, you know, with a uh, circular saw song that is also mounted on a desk or on a, a bench, whatever. Uh, to do the job correctly, so yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Yeah, the only thing that stinks here is this gear, anyways.